Hello Hunters, this is NordEast21, another Hunter called the Wild Video. Today I'm going to show you how you can switch between multiple hunting profiles in the Hunter called the Wild. Let's get into it. Okay, to start off, there are some settings that we need to tweak first before we can continue any further. The first thing you want to do is uh, head into Steam, go to your library, go to your Hunter Call of the Wild, right click on the Hunter Call of the Wild and go to Properties, head over to the Updates tab under the Properties window here, and then down towards the bottom with, under the Steam Cloud section, you're going to want to Make sure that the box next to the Enable Steam Cloud Synchronization is unchecked. You don't want that check mark. Unchecked. All right, once that is unchecked, we can get out of Steam here. And I'm going to open up the game and just show you that I am on my main level 60 account. All right, so now that we're at the main menu, I'm just going to hit continue. We're going to let the game load up. And I'm going to hit escape and just to show you that, okay, we are on the level 60 account. I'm going to show you the codex, the hunting profile, and just show you that we do have uh, harvests in here. We do have all this information in here. Um, ignore the harvest count that just has to do with uh, loss of save data and getting another level 60 account in here just so I had all my perks. So now that we've shown you that we do have the level 60 account hooked up, we are moving on to the next step. So we're going to exit to desktop, close the game entirely, and then we're going to navigate to the save data folder for the Hunter Call of the Wild. So what you want to do is open up a file explorer. In my case, I've got a little shortcut down here. And then we're going to head over to the documents section. Now, when we're in the documents, we're going to be looking for the Avalanche Studios folder. Now, what I'd highly recommend that you do is uh, highlight the folder, right click it, hit send to desktop to create a shortcut. Now, what that's going to do is bring that folder, a shortcut to that folder onto your desktop. This is going to make switching your saved games that much easier. So after we've done that, after we've got the uh, shortcut on the desktop, we're going to open up the Avalanche Studios folder. And here are the two save game folders for the Hunter Call of the Wild. Now, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to select both of them, make sure they're both highlighted, and then we're just going to right click. And then we're going to go to send to again, and then we're going to go hit the compressed zipped folder option here. Now what that's going to do, that's going to save the data in both these folders in one neat little compressed zip file. So from here, we're going to want to rename this to something that is identifiable to us. In this case, I'm just going to name it COTW60, so I know it's my level 60 save. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to go back into the game. So I'm going to launch the game. All right, once that's all loaded up and we're back on the main menu, what we're gonna wanna do now is we're gonna hit new game. And we're going to essentially delete all of our old save data. It's okay, we have a backup now. So we're gonna go here for reference. I'm going to bring my character to the same map, the Yukon Valley map, and we're just gonna hit new game. And then we're gonna wait for uh, the beginning cutscene here to finish up. Ah, uh, beautiful Yukon. I love this map, man. So beautiful. With a little red in the background. We got the little plane coming in. We gotta wait for that uh, that plane to come in and land. We got a couple different FPS counters up here in case you're wondering what that all is. And then that menu at the beginning was uh, reshade, which I'll show you a video on. On how to install reshade and how to make your game look poppin yeah we're just waiting for this uh, cutscene to finish up here we're almost there
All right. So now that the plane has landed, we're sitting on here. I'm going to hit escape again. Just show you now that we're a level one account, zero XP on this account. We've got nothing. I'm going to show you the hunting profile again. Zero all the way across the board. This is fine. So now that that's all, uh, that's all done there, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to exit to desktop. We're going to go back into our Avalanche Studios folder. And we're going to repeat this process from earlier. We're going to copy or compress rather these two folders. So make sure just these two folders are highlighted, COTW and the Hunter Call of the Wild. Right click, send to compressed zipped folder. And this one we're going to name COTW new, new game. So now that we've got these two saved profiles in here now, since we've got the new game information hooked up here and we say we want to switch back to the level 60, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to right click on this, the COTW 60. We're going to go extract all. And then we're just going to uh, delete that folder name here because we don't want to extract it into its own folder. We're going to delete that out of there. And what's, what that's going to do is extract the two compressed folders into here without actually making a separate third folder for that. So we'll hit extract. And then what it's going to ask us to do is replace all these files because we're essentially copying back in our old save data. So we're going to want to replace the files. Let that finish up. Back out of there, we don't need that anymore. And we'll reopen the game up. All right, now that we're back on the main menu, we're just gonna go ahead and hit continue again. And we'll hit escape. And now we've got all of our information, our save data from our, our level 60 account back in here. Max experience, money, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna go back to the codex, hunter log, or excuse me, hunting profile. And all this save data is back in here again. Still got all of our levels. We still got all our money, all of our perks. We got all of our guns. We got all that inform All that uh, save data has been copied back over. And we're back on the level 60. So if you guys do have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to help you out. Um, switching back to the, the new file is very simple. It's just um, a matter of extracting the new game back into here. Like we did with the COTW60. And that's how you can jump back between accounts. Whether you have... You know, a kid that wants to play or a friend that wants to try the game out on your computer, anything like that. Well, if you guys have found this video helpful, please hit that like button. If you do want to see more content like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell after you hit that subscribe button. And stay tuned for more videos just like this. If you do want to show off some of your really cool hunts, we've got a great show off section in the Discord link down below. Um, and with that being said, this is Nordy's 21. Keep on hunting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Peace! They actually had like pointer dogs and like retriever dogs, I think retriever dogs. And I heard rumor that they're considering adding it to this game. It could replace Blaze. Yeah, that's my thought too. Exactly my thought. Blaze out, retriever in. <gasps> Wolves are real. <sighs> no! Oh!